Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to invoke Salesforce Agent Force using REST API. In order to invoke Salesforce Agent Force using REST API, I am going to make use of Salesforce Messaging for In-App and Web REST APIs. If you are new to Salesforce Messaging for In-App and Web REST API setup, then you have to go to this blog post using which you will be able to set up your Salesforce messaging for in-app and web for REST APIs. For uh, Salesforce messaging for in-app and web, we create messaging channel of type messaging for in-app and web. In that, I am making use of routing type as uh, OmniFlow and I'm using a flow with the name MIAW agent force flow. In this flow, I am making use of route work flow element to route the Salesforce messaging session to the agent force service agent. And this is the agent force agent which I have set it up in the org. So since I am using route to agent force service agent, it will directly route it to the agent force agent. The first step is we have to get uh, the access token. So I'm sending a request. I'm, I have the access token. I have a simple script which stores the uh, access token in this uh, MIAW access token variable. So the access token is ready. Next, I'm going to create a conversation ID. In order to get this conversation ID, I'm going to make use of a UUID in Salesforce. I'm going to make use of UUID.RandomUUID to generate the, the conversation ID in Salesforce. So this is the sample UUID. So I'm making going to make use of this as the conversation ID here. So the conversation is created. Now I'm going to subscribe to the server side events. So it got connected. Next, I'm going to send a message to invoke my, already it would have invoked, the agent force, let's verify that. So my agent force is already initiated. Let me send a message. Since this is going to be the first message, this particular uh, in reply to message should be blank. And this is the conversation ID, which we used it to create the conversation. For each and every message, we have to generate a message ID. For that, I'm going to use the same uh, UUID, dot random UUID method. So I'm going to make use of this as my message ID. I'm going to send a message stating that order booking for test contact at test.com. So this is the message I'm going to send. It should be available here also. So order booking for test contact. Now, in order to find out what is the response we got, let's go to the server side event uh, subscription. So this is typing uh, indicator. Okay, so this is also typing indicator. Okay, so we should see that message. Okay, so this is the message we got it from the agent force. We have the following product families available for booking digital or static. Which one would you like to choose? We should see the same information here also. So this is the message that was sent by 
the agent force agent so I'm going to send so for the previous message ID is this one so I'm going to use that here and I'm going to select one as so I'm going to send a message as one and for the new message ID we can make use of the same UUID dot random UUID to generate it so this is the new message ID I'm going to pass so this is also done no okay so this is uh, typing indicator is stopped and uh, the latest message from the agent force agent is awesome here are the cities where we have products available we should be able to see all those conversation in the messaging session record also so we sent one it said awesome here are the cities where we have products available so in this way we can definitely invoke salesforce uh, agent force uh, agent with the help of salesforce mes messaging for in-app and web rest apis please check the video description in the video description i have shared my blog post from the blog post you should be able to get some sample references with uh, clear step-by-step -step instructions so that it will be easy for you to set up and play around i hope it was helpful thank you for watching